Hi there, my name is Tanner Morris. I'm Certiports Product Manager over the Adobe program, and I'm here to give you an overview of our updates for the new school year. I'll cover a lot of material. If you have follow-up questions, reach out to your territory manager. Also, I'm gonna to speak to people that are already engaged with the program. If you're new and need more general information and details about how to get started, your territory manager can help there as well. Let's start things off big, Adobe Certified Professional. These are the same exams that you already know, same difficulty, just under a new name. We announced this last year and we're very excited about it. When we started releasing Live in the App or Lida Adobe exams, it marked a distinct change in the program. These new exams mirror a professional's workflow and certify that students know professional level skills. This isn't a change to the exams themselves. This is a change of the program name that aligns with what we're seeing in the market. All of the Adobe Lida exams, starting with the ones we released in 2018, will be rebranded to point to Adobe Certified Professional. Anyone who has earned a certification using a Lida exam will automatically get a new certificate and digital badge. Another exciting part of the rebrand is the change to our specialty credential program. Last year, we simplified the program. Instead of requiring three exams, we now have one anchor exam for each credential and candidates get to pick the other one they will take. We hope this change frees up teachers to focus on specific skills and let students dig deeper into two titles instead of just getting a surface level knowledge of all three. Anyone can earn these new Adobe Certified Professional Specialty Credentials using the Live in the App exams right now. Separate from the program rebrand, we are also releasing 2021 exams for the new school year. They'll all be available for the start of the school year. We've taken the opportunity to refresh the objective domains for these exams, but they aren't significant changes and they still point to the same certifications. We'll dig in some more on those changes next. Our plans going forward are to maintain three versions of the exam. So we released 2021 and now the 2018 exams will be retired. We support 2019, 2020, and 2021 in our exams. When Adobe launches new versions during the school year, Certiport will have a new exam for the next school year. Okay, we've talked about how the new 2021 exams are different. Let's dig into some specifics to help you feel more comfortable about those changes. Anyone who has taken one of the LIDA exams will feel at home in the new 2021 exams. Even though there are changes to the objective domains, the work we did a few years ago to set us up for success in LIDA is still very much there. The format of the exam, starting with multiple choice questions, transitioning to projects, that remains the same. And because the majority of the objective domains are the same, we're going to be asking similar questions and presenting similar projects. Let me give you two concrete examples of changes to the objective domains, one in Photoshop and another in Illustrator. In previous Photoshop exam objectives, we identified creating and customizing gradients. In the 2021 software, Adobe added the ability to organize gradients, and the 2021 objective domains mention that specifically. The change in the objective domains here highlights a new feature that Adobe just added and it fits right in with training about the feature, which was already happening in the previous objective domains. In the earlier Illustrator exam objectives, we identified saving in the .ai format with key concepts like compatibility, save as a copy, etc. In the new 2021 objectives, we call out the key concepts of compatibility and save options, including cloud documents. Cloud documents is not something that is new in the 2021 version of Illustrator, but it's a growing trend in the industry that candidates need to know about. This change calls it out specifically as something that candidates should know before they earn their certification. There are similar minor changes in the objective domains for the other exams as well. Nothing earth shattering, just some updates to make sure the exams will still be relevant in the years to come. Okay, enough on the nitty gritty details. If you want to dig in more, you can see the objective domains at certreport.com slash ODs. That is slash ODS. Last, I want to cover our conferences. We just held our certified conference in June, and it was an amazing event. You can watch recordings from all of the sessions at certified.certreport.com. Certified is where we hold our national championship for Adobe Certified Professional Students. You can learn more about the competition for next year 
at acachampionship.com. And the Adobe for Education Summit is just around the corner. These are great free opportunities to engage with fellow educators to learn something new or to hone your craft. Thank you for your time. Again, if you have questions, reach out to your territory manager and I'll be happy to help. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.